Hi. Hi, my name's Dardanella and today I'm interviewing Sarinda Urasinka from Austal Ships. He's the Operations Manager. So, welcome. Thanks for coming today. Thank you very much for having me here, uh, Daddy and uh, Engineers Australia. You're welcome. So, our first question for you is what is your job and what does it entail? Yes, my current job is uh, Operations Manager for Austal Technology, which mm -hmm. is a new business unit for Austal Ships Private Limited. Uh, which is dealing uh, with building software for Austral ships, mm -hmm. uh, future maritime, uh, you know, sustainable model. It's very exciting actually. Mm -hmm. So my initial title was operations manager, which is the same right now, uh, but now it has been, um, you know, deviated into uh, mm, a support manager role plus IFS consultant role. I'm playing hybrid role, which is I really like uh, manager plus a kind of a developer kind of role. Great. So. Um, uh, you know, here in Australia, I think it's uh, rather than being a specialist, I think it's uh, being a generalist. Uh, you know, I believe it's good for you, so you know, uh, you know, each and everything. That's awesome. So yeah, Great. in a nutshell, yes, that is the background of my job. If you want me to, you know, elaborate more, I can, you know, go on further. That sounds great. Um, so our second question today is, uh, why did you choose to study engineering in the first place? Yeah, good one. So. <clears throat> When I finished my uh, ordinary level uh, exams in 1999 back in Sri Lanka, yeah. uh, I wanted to uh, select a field where I can easily find jobs. Yeah. So in that case, uh, mathematics stream was the autonomous selection. Mm -hmm. You know, if you do bio bioscience or you know biology so even if you don't become a doctor or a scientist uh, there are some you know, there will there were limited opportunities to enhance your career yes and i didn't like uh, commerce or financial yeah and i uh, although i have some aesthetic talents i think but i didn't like uh, arts as a profession so okay. yeah maths was the ob obvious you know selection Great. and i i liked it and then mm -hmm. I was selected. I passed the uh, advanced level um, examination in good colors, and then and entered the university uh, in the engineering field. Yeah. Fantastic. And what has been your favorite project that you've worked on in your career? Well, there are a few. Uh, if you ask me, the most favorite, you know, most favorite, um, probably. Uh, the set of box project that uh, we worked uh, when uh, I was with Cebo Networks Lanka, which is an Australian offshore operation back in Sri Lanka. Okay. So um, in 2014, actually, I was headhunted from IFS. Mm -hmm. uh, IFS is a Swedish based um, enterprise resource planning provider. Okay. Uh, so I was with IFS from 2008 to 2014. Uh, and then I was headhunted to this startup, uh, a Melbourne-based, um, you know, software and electronic uh, equipment manufacturer. Actually, they wanted to uh, start a software business back in Sri Lanka. So I was, in a way, very lucky to be selected. Um, there, actually, we did a set of box project called Cebo Max. Um, it dealt with, uh, you know, hardware firmware, Linux-based operation system, Linux-based um, media player called uh, Kodi. Okay. Um, and it was really exciting, you know, we could write uh, add-ons in Python. You know, at that time, uh, in 2014-15, actually, I was new to that domain. I had to learn stuff and do. Yeah. It was really interesting. So I wrote the first add-on for that particular setup box platform uh, called CDOX. Yeah. Uh, so we just used to, you know, scrape the internet and, you know, um, you know, <clears throat> you know, show the, show the content, uh, through hardware accelerated platform. It was really nice. So that was probably my favorite one out of a uh, few more others. Yeah. Okay, great. Um, and your designings, you have been involved in designing from software at Austral Ship. Um, I think you were telling me before that, uh, the software. It can make the ship, it can show the direction for the ship, is that um, Not really actually, um, uh, um, 
I'm uh, not into designing uh, okay. part of uh, the Luigi software, but I'm uh, more into the IFS part of uh, uh, the solution. IFS is the enterprise resource planning of that particular software, you know, okay. com you know, component. Uh, it, it it is an integrated, uh, you know, integrated system. Okay. A lot of uh, of the shelf customized uh, tools are there. So, mm -hmm. um, and I'm more into the support uh, vertical. So it does not direct the ship, but it's like a asset management uh, plus uh, system health showing kind of uh, software. Okay. And in future, actually, yes, future maritime model, you can, you know, definitely uh, use it uh, for, yeah, predictions, uh, analysis and all. Right. Likewise, so our boss has a kind of a very good, you know, vision in that regard. Fantastic. Yeah. That's great. So we've got one last question, which we ask all of all of our engineers. Yeah. And it is, what is some advice that you would give to student engineers for their career? Very good. So <clears throat> recently I was intrigued by the Create magazine as well. I was very privileged. Uh, three things that I have mentioned. The first one, study the basics. So when you when you are an undergraduate, you feel uh, there are a lot of new stuff around you. You know, new technology, especially if you are into computer engineering, which is my field. Every day you find you know new things, but don't uh, be too excited to okay. learn all those things. You have a curriculum, so all those uh, you know great academics have created those curriculums in a way that you can master those and uh, you know learn new things so the platform is made just learn the basics correctly if you take uh, computer engineering object oriented programming you know networking basics uh, you know one language <coughs> sorry one language you can you know you can learn thoroughly yeah c++ or java or whatever one mm -hmm. platform and you can be an expert on that and it's definitely with that exposure Mm -hmm. You can learn new things, you know, otherwise you can't, you know, you are not expected to learn <coughs> a lot of things at once. Yeah. The other thing is, uh, never, <coughs> never stop learning. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Even you become a, what do you call it, professional, start, you know, doing CPDs and all. Fantastic. Yeah. And uh, the other th third one, don't forget to uh, be a part of a, uh, relevant professional organizations like Engineers Australia and uh, maybe Computer Society Australia, whatever. Yeah. Yeah. And it will allow you to groom well as a professional, you know, not only for technical stuff, but of course in the networking and the social stuff and something giving back as well. Fantastic. Thank you so much for coming. We really appreciate it. Thanks, Daddy. Thank Thanks, you. Thanks, Engineers Australia.